right, today we are doing a bozu mashup, so that means you need a bozu. I mean, you can try it without a bozu, but it just won't be the same. And um, I got my gym boss timer. We're going to be doing 10 moves using a 45-15 interval, so that means it's going to take you 10 minutes to do one round. You can do as many rounds as you uh, have the energy for or the inclination. I'm just going to do one round so then you'll know the exercises and you can carry on without me. I'm also using a mini band. My mini band is orange because for me, my orange mini band is the easiest mini band that I have. And to be quite honest, the exercises that I've chosen for the mini band are challenging. They're hard as shite. So you're going to need to use an, an easier mini band, okay? I'm also using a 20 pound kettlebell, okay? So you can use a dumbbell most likely, but I'm going to use a kettlebell just because I'm using a kettlebell. All right, so without further ado, you do want to make sure you're warm, guys. So here, I put some warm ups up here for you to, to try out. Please don't come into this workout cold. It is going to be hard. So yeah. I'm going to just start the timer. We're going to flip the bozu over for the first exercise. It's a slow mountain climber. So you're going to come into a plank and we're just going to drive the knees forward. Okay. And it's a little bit wobbly on this surface. So here we go. Knee, knee. The whole idea is to keep your body still in the plank while your feet are moving. So you can pick up the pace if you want. You can make this into a, a real mountain climber. It's up to you, but I'm just gonna keep going slow and steady. This is more for me of a strength workout than cardio, but you will find that your heart rate will go up anyway. Almost there. Okay, flip your bozu over. Pick up your kettlebell. Hold it close to you. We're going to be doing squats from the top of the bozu. So come on top. Toes are slightly turned out. And we're going to come down into a deep squat, okay? And then push back up. So please don't fall off backwards, especially. <laughs> That would be very, very bad. Tremendously bad. Squeeze those glutes on the way up. Come on. Keep your chest lifted. When you're comfortable with this, you can certainly pick up the pace. But for right now, I'm just slow and steady. I call myself a powerful turtle. That's how I feel. Mm-mm, down and up, come on. Okay, I'm gonna do some rows. You can leave your bozu in the middle. You're gonna put one knee, one hand on the bozu. Other leg comes out for support. Long spine, so you're pushing those hips back and we're rowing up, okay? Eyes are down, neck is long. A little bit of a rotation, if you feel like it. Elbow up towards the ceiling. Abs are in tight. You got this. Same thing, other side, knee and hand and leg out for support and here we go, let's row up and down.
You guys are doing great. I know you are. I can see through the camera. Shh. Come on. Okay, pick up your kettlebell. We're gonna be doing some reverse lunges, passing the kettlebell through the legs, okay? So give yourself some space, and it's down and up. And it's definitely very wobbly. So we are working all of our little stabilizing muscles and working on proprioception, balance, and that big word just means your brain's ability to tell where your body is in space because we're not going to be looking down all the time. We have to rely on that skill. Feel. Excellent. Bring the Boza back to the middle. We're going to be doing some squat overs. So just holding the kettlebell close to you. One foot is on top. We're going to squat. Take it over to the other side. Up and squat. So feeling again where your top foot is, how much room you have for the other foot to come in where the ground is, where your, how your body is positioned, chest up, hips down, knees tracking with the toes, all of those things to keep in mind as your legs work and your heart pumps blood to your legs and oxygen. Ay, ay, ay. Feels so good to be alive. Woo. Okay, we're gonna do some glute bridges, so give yourself space again. We're gonna be supporting the upper back and shoulders on the bozu. We're gonna use the kettlebell for a little bit of resistance, and here we go, up and down. My kettlebell is basically on my pubic bone. That might not feel comfortable for you, so you just move it around to a better spot and you're pushing through your heels, squeezing those glutes at the top. It's not super fast, but you wanna get in really deep with that squeeze. Firing them up, turning them on, so important to be able to do that for any kind of activity, even at rest, being aware. Okay, put your kettlebell out of the way. Quickly put your mini bend onto your ankles. And we're gonna get into a plank position. We're gonna do a plank walk combo. So here we go. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Two plank jacks. Other side legs. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Plank jack, plank jack. Always changing sides, if you can remember, and staying in a strong plank position all the way through. So when you're walking down and walking back up, your whole body comes down and then your body comes up. Okay, we are doing really well. I'm dreading the next two exercises, though I must admit. Okay, so quickly pull the mini band up above your knees, okay? And try to smooth it out as much as you can. Eek, okay. I don't care if the timer started. I hate this one. I don't know why I put it in. Elbow plank. And with your shoulders lined up. You can just hold it here for a few seconds and then when you're ready and stable, you can lift your leg up. Clearly, I'm not stable. 
and I'm gonna have to take a break in between here. This is very hard for me for some reason. So let's just take it on as a challenge, okay? Keep your toes forward, keep yourself up. You can lift your arm or have it down, whatever makes sense. And just keep going, okay, yay! Other side, so I'm just gonna stay here because I'm really too tired to move to the other side. And the band has all, has gotten all crunchy, but oh well. Okay, you guys ready? I'm not. And a strong side plank, as much as you can muster, and then lift and lower. Woo! I'm doing it. And this side is even harder for me. So, keeping it real, guys. If you're struggling, then we're struggling together. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should do this on the floor, actually. To just do this move on the floor where it's more stable. Or just try it. What the heck, right? You gotta start somewhere. Okay, so that's your, your circuit. 10 minutes. You did it, I did it. Kind of, those last two exercises were a little bit pathetic for me, but. Hopefully, well not hopefully, because I'm gonna keep practicing and keep doing it, you should too, so you're gonna get stronger. And um, if you enjoyed this, please like and share if you're new. Make sure you subscribe, okay? Super important, and uh, let me know, always share your comments with me, let me know what you thought about this circuit, what kind of circuits you wanna see, and how you guys are doing, because I know that this is a really challenging time for a lot of people. But I have to be honest, I work from home, so it hasn't affected me in a negative way. The only thing I can say is that it's forced me, because I'm confined now, to work harder, be more productive. So honestly, I'm getting stronger, but I'm also frigging exhausted. Okay, anyway, that's all right. And life is a gift, time is a gift, so use it wisely, do something good with it. And until next time, take care of you. Be healthy, be happy, and get sweaty.